for the first time, a Foxconn executive gave a speech at the annual BioHealth Summit today. He talked to our Eden Checkel about the company's hopes of collaborating with medical groups in Wisconsin. It's an interview you'll only find here on News 3. Charlie Alvarez is the senior advisor to the president of the Foxconn Medical Group and as the keynote speaker of today's BioHealth Summit, he wants to make sure that people have a better understanding of the company's healthcare division. He also says Foxconn is interested in collaborating with a number of medical groups right here in Wisconsin. And really the key word here is, and you're going to hear it over and over again, is collaboration. Tuesday morning, Foxconn executive Charlie Alvarez emphasized the importance of working closely with medical organizations in Wisconsin. At the top of that list, the UW-Madison Carbone Cancer Center. Definitely on research and on education. The multi-billion dollar company is also looking to create customized products for local hospitals, depending on what they need. Our technology is is not only about hardware, but it's also about software and about data. And being able to take that data and, and really make it a lot more useful to the hospital. The Taiwanese company's healthcare division has been running for over a decade and employs a thousand people. It focuses on all types of cancers from breast cancers to various blood cancers. I'm really focused on preventative uh, and all the way to treatment. Foxconn has a history of collaborating with schools and businesses. The medical division has worked closely on projects with the National Taiwan University. It's also made 24 investments, even purchasing two companies in California. Alvarez says Wisconsin stands out for its strong research, education, and companies in the medical field. We're committed to working here, and uh, we're looking forward to collaborating here. Foxconn is already building a high-tech facility in Racine County. I asked Alvarez if the company is interested in opening a medical division right here in Dane County. He says he doesn't know at this time because the company is more focused on that southeastern Wisconsin location. Reporting in downtown Madison, I'm Eden Chackle for WISC News 3.